running together. We, knew, we never know about that. Here comes Denny Hamlin as he is trying to uh, get up at the top of the speed chart here at Talladega. This chase did not start out well for the number 11 team as they ran short on gas at Chicagoland, but they bounced back in a big way at Loudoun, New Hampshire. Who wins the Sylvania 300 today? Time to start flying out. is still out front and driving away. Denny Hamlin said he would win in New Hampshire. It turned out to be a money-back guarantee. You, my friend, are a wicked awesome. So he ended up holding the big lobster, but what was so impressive about that victory was he started in the back of the pack because they had an air in the air pressure tire, the tire air pressure for qualifying. And Denny said, oh, I'm hope to be in the top 10 by the first 100 laps. He was up there after 60. They're holding a the note up, says that was a 22 pound lobster. Big lobster. <laughs> you know how long it takes a lobster to get to 22 pounds? It was 60 years. Seriously? That might be a 60-year-old crustacean. Wow. You don't get that kind of information. I feel like I'm in Greenland right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Flipper. <laughs> and you know what, KP? The first cars didn't have steering wheels. They were steered by levers. Steering wheels made their debut in 1900 on a Packard, back when Larry was racing. And Hammond was working on it. <laughs> yeah. You know, Denny Hamlin this year, with those 39 laps that he led at Dover, he has led 1,132 laps this year. That's second only. Led 1,250 laps in the 29 races so far this year. Every year, including his rookie year, that Denny Hamlin's raced full-time in the Sprint Cup Series, he has made the chase. He's made it very close to winning a championship, but this year he seems like he has a whole different approach to it. Says he's having a lot more fun, not getting so upset at the lows, not getting so high at the highs, and uh, really has another shot, another great shot. Of course, we've got seven races to go, and a lot can happen, but uh, look for Denny Hamlin to be figuring into this thing when we go to Miami Homestead. His two teammates, Kyle Busch in the 18, Joey Logano in the 20, they are 12th and 13th. Denny's tracking a little bit behind that, but we've seen this time and time again with the Joe Gibbs Toyotas at Daytona and Talladega. Not a lot of single car speed for qualifying, but yes. they race like the Dickens when they drop that green race flag. Race incredible. They always find their way to the front. Uh, he and Kyle both, and we saw Kyle at, at Daytona do some magical stuff in that car down the apron, back up in the racetrack, uh, and still just keep that thing stuck in there and come home with a good finish.